Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn one awesome feature available in the latest versions of Microsoft Power BI Desktop, and that is uh, the slicers in Power BI. So, I have taken an example of uh, human resources analytical dashboard. Now, this technique will be useful for all the users who are making any kind of dashboards for their departments or functions. Uh, the point is that how we can create a picture based slicers in Power BI. So let's get start. I have this uh, HR analytical dashboard and what I did is if you can see there are two icons for uh, one for female and one for male and I need to make it interactive with my other objects on the dashboard. So what I do is when I click on female icon so you can see the whole entire dashboard filter based on female it's by headcount by group headcount by function monthly headcount okay and when i click on male icon or the male image you can now see that is being entirely filtered right so this is interactive based on image or button slicer now how i have created this uh, let's learn so for this uh, you need to have the latest version of power bi and uh, currently i have if i go to help tab and if i click on about so you can see i'm using currently may 2025 version so you might have may or june 2025 version okay now after that uh, you will go to the build pane and you will find here this icon that is called button slicer we have normal slicers in the previous or older versions of power bi but we need to use this particular icon this is button slicer okay so let me start from the scratch i hope you understand what we are trying to do here okay so let me delete this and i will show you from the very start all right so i will click on this button slicer that will insert a very blank object here okay and i need to show the icons here now for that you definitely need and the image urls uh, you will not do by this method that you will go to the insert tab and insert the images directly from your local hard drive or any sharing uh, location but you need the image url to work okay now how that will work let me show you so i have created an excel file this is uh, will work uh, as a dimension table for me so i have two columns icons uh, for male i have indicated m and for female that is f and then another column that is web url so i found the male and female png format icon uh, from the google images and i just copy and pasted the url of this entire image so i need to save like this okay and then i have my uh, real data of hr let me show you that so this is the data uh, of the headcount and if you can see here I have a column uh, called gender and in the gender I have M or F M for male and F for female if I have written male as a full spelling here so I need to also here as a full spelling so I need to also update here as well so because I need to create a relationship between uh, my this particular HR data table and also this dimension table so that's very important and then it will work otherwise it will not work okay if you write any other name for example here uh, and the names will be different here in the gender column the relationship will not be created and then it will not work so primarily i hope you understand that why i have written m and f here because uh, in my hr database i have a gender column which represent male for m and female for uh, f okay let me close this come back to model view you can see here as i show you in the excel what i created is the relationship between a common column uh, between these two tables so i have a table called pictures url which i have icons m or f uh, male and female and their web url and i have connected with the gender column based in the headcount db okay so this is a one to many relationship okay now i will go to the report view and what i will do is i will put a field so now i will click on this object and from here i need to put a field here so i will click on add data and from pictures url table i will select the icons for f or m for male or female okay this is the first part now the second part is that uh, on the format menu from here i will go to the 
images and uh, here we have a field so i will click add data i will go to pictures url table and i will say that pick those pictures from the web url column okay that's the link for those pictures and as soon as i get here you can see i get male and female icons here okay now i don't want these background colors because this is distracting my big, uh, entire dashboard background color as well so i need to hide that i will turn off the border i will turn off the fill color all right and another thing is that in the layout i don't need this extra space because we just have two images two columns so we'll write two here so that will save the extra spaces from here okay and then we don't need the title as well so that uh, all right now when i click on female you can see that entire dashboard has been uh, filtered based on female and then male 540 are males and if i press control and click again so it will show the overall uh, dashboard number so this is how it's very easy uh, to use the picture slicers okay but remember that the data modeling is also important and the logics and hope you like this video thank you